How do we solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems? Our doctors and specialists collaborate, sharing their vast knowledge and Mayo Clinic's unique expertise. It's this working together that helps solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems. Monument Health, proud member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. Every home tells a story. Wherever you live, whatever your style, express yourself with Ashley Home Store. So many styles to help tell your story and create your unique dream home. Ashley Home Store, this is home. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. think American made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high quality, locally sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American made. Everyone says they want to change the world. But not everyone will. We are not everyone. What Americans needed a car that worked harder than a car. We built them a truck. And they used our trucks to build interstates and industries and communities, livelihoods and neighborhoods. Americans needed vehicles worthy of who they are and what they can do. So, we built them a truck. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. 
Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. You've already seen it. Ben Hague fires in his final warm-up pitch, and Noah Pitts will now step up. And we are ready to go at officially 133, and the first pitch is in for an all strike. Taking a look at the temperature here in Mitchell, South Dakota, it's currently 83 degrees, feels like 87, humidity at 57%, and seeing a light breeze according to the weather scale, but when you look out to deep center, the flag not moving whatsoever. Quickly the count, 0-2 to Noah Pitts. Ben Hagee winds and deals. It's just outside for a called strike, or excuse me, for a called ball. 1-2 the count. Noah Pitts, Jake Alt, Tyson Sonnenberg all up for Volga here in the top of the first. And another pitch that just misses the bottom corner for Ben Hagee in the count. Now even at two apiece. Ben quickly moves through his progressions. 2-2, swing and a miss, and that's his first strikeout with the first batter, and Jake Alt will step up to bat. Good crowd from Crofton, I should say, as you can hear them hooping and hollering in the background. Now, I'm not quite for sure the situation for the Crofton Blue Jays, but when it came to their district final against Lesterville, where they would win, they were missing a few of their key players, including Ben Hagee, who's either pitching or playing at first including a couple others in that situation. But of course, as we know, that's just called life. Sometimes things don't always work out. And now the first pitch to J Jake Alt is going to be scooped up, underhanded to Ben Hagee, and that's out number two. So call it the 3-1 put out as Corey Roach, the first baseman, came up, got the ball as it was rolling over to James Kaiser, the second baseman. Again, Ben Hagee covering at first for the second out. And that's what you see as well when it comes to Nebraska baseball with Crofton and why not? They work quickly. They put their best pitchers out there. They want a low scoring game. And now this one's going to be slapped foul down the third baseline. Jared Wiebelhaus, though, was ready to pick it up and throw it over to first. Tyson Sonnenberg is currently the batter for Volga. Two outs already, top of the first. A wonderful afternoon at Cadwell Park. I always try to think what could be better than this on a Friday afternoon. I can't come up with anything. Hopefully you can come out to Cadwell Park. If you're a fan of Lesterville or why not? Lesterville again tomorrow. Why not? Coming up later on. Right here on Classic Hits 1063. Want to welcome on all the fans of Volga for just a fan of amateur baseball with live ticket TV as Jody connected to us once again. I always appreciate his hard work in the broadcast booth putting on this video stream. The one, two, this one's gonna be slapped into the gap of left center field, heading towards the number at 374. Never gonna make it that far, but it's a stand-up double for Tyson Sonnenberg, and it will keep the inning alive for Volga here in the top of the first. By the way, mention the numbers. 340 over at the corners, 374 to left and right center field and to deep center it's 420. And now up to bat will be Zach Pitts. Bring up Pitts here in just a moment. This one's fouled off. So there's Noah Pitts, Zach Pitts, and Parker Pitts. Try to keep those straight. You do that for me. I know at least once I'll get somebody wrong. The 0-1 after the foul ball is going to be popped up in the air. Giving chase is James Kaiser looking back behind, but he can't get there. This will fall in for a, a hit, a single, and coming around from second is Tyson Sonnenberg. And Volga, with two outs, is able to get a fly ball single, and they take the lead 1-0 over the Crofton Blue Jays here in the top of the first. And now up will be Parker Pitts. As he fouls this one off the end of his bat, back behind, the count will begin 0-1. Again, Parker Pitts will be the 
pitcher. I want to make sure I get this right as well. He's also a Legion player. For some reason, I was thinking he was a pickup player, but he's a Legion player, and this one is going to be hit out in the center. Covering is Seth Weeblehouse, and he will glove it for out number three, but not before Volga is able to add one run on two hits, no errors. It took 12 pitches for Ben Hagee, and we move to the bottom of the first. Again, Volga won, Croft and nothing. You're listening to the South Dakota Amateur Baseball Tournament on Classic Hits 106.3, online at kvhtradio.com, live ticket TV. We're back in 90. Got the shop towels last week at Grossenberg Implement. Now this week, save 8% on our classic glass cleaner that cuts through grease, dirt, and film barriers with little effort. The non-streak formula makes short work of all cleaning jobs. Heavy-duty foam clings to vertical surfaces and provides a dirt-resistant barrier. Perfect for cleaning mirrors, glass, chrome, tile around the home, or glass on your vehicles or any equipment with glass in it. See Grossenberg Implement this week and take advantage of the 8% discount on our classic glass cleaner. Grossenberg Implement, servicing your growing needs since 1936. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Crofton Blue Jays. Now, if you're a fan of Crofton, you may remember last year at the state tournament. Now, cover your ears if you're a Crofton fan. They lost three to nothing after another successful season, looking to make a deep run and were never able to bring around a run. The 1-0 is outside. The count quickly 2-0. and Again, Alec Martin, Jared Weeblehouse, Corey Roach all up here in the bottom of the first inning and finally finds the strike zone is Parker Pitts. Jake Alt at third base, Austin Bussey. Shortstop, Noah Pitts second, and Zach Pitts at first. Lane Lucas is the catcher. This one a swing and a miss. Out and left, it's Josh Nelson. Tyson Sonnenberg is in center field, and Cole Gross out in right field. And that's a look at the defensive assignments if you're just tuning in for Volga. One to nothing, bottom of the first, Count is 2-2 and a swing and a miss. Oh boy, here we go. The strikeouts, are they going to be a plenty for Parker Pitts? Mark number one for him in the book already. And now up will be Jared Weeblehouse. Again, if you're a fan of South Central League, already two games yesterday, the Metal Mad Frogs advanced on, getting the win over Redfield at Dairy Queen, 10-8. Flandreau, though, in the nightcap, beat Tabor 9-4. So, so far in the tournament, South Central League teams are 1-1. One one. The 1-0 pitch by Weeble House is hit right back to Parker Pitts. He couldn't put a glove on it. And it's going to leak all the way out into center field. And that is a single for Jared Weeble House off of the hard-hit ground ball. And now up to bat will be Corey Roach. Corey Roach was also named the District 6B MVP last Saturday as the District 6 South Central League is usually the final district 
to wrap up action. And for once, they actually finished the tournament on a Saturday instead of waiting until Sunday to finish it up, which then puts everybody behind schedule when it comes to releasing the bracket for the state tournament because we're waiting on the South Central League. It's always because we have rain down in Nebraska and Eastern South Dakota. This year though, that's been a different story. But that's been that kind of story for all around the state, it seems like. The rain struggles continue. And again, really no rain in the forecast here for Mitchell for the next couple of days. Might see a pop-up shower at night, but that's after baseball action will be over with. The count is one and two to Corey Roach. Again, Weeble House short off the first base bag. Now Parker Pitts is going to glance over there. The one, two, this one is going to be smacked on to Austin Bussey. Place at, play at second is out. Play at first is going to be safe. So a fielder's choice for Corey Roach and Jared Weeblehouse is out at second on the ground ball. And now batting cleanup will be James Kaiser. Again, two away. Bottom of the first, Volga leading it over Crofton. One to nothing. We have seen quick pitching, but expect that in today's action with Ben Hagee and also Parker Pitts. Now a pickoff attempt, and it is going to get away from Zach Pitts, but it doesn't roll that far. And Roach looked back behind, thought, nope, nope, not going to go. And a good decision. Otherwise, he probably would have been caught in a rundown. Pitts looks back over to first. Now a wind and deal. The pitch is just slightly high. Count will begin 1-0. As you mentioned, Alexandra taking on Canova. That was the first game of the day. Alexandra getting the win. Two to nothing, eliminating the Canova gang. Those two teams met up a year ago in the championship game. A lot of moans last Sunday when the bracket was revealed. And those two teams were paired up together. The 1-1 one, one in for a called strike. And the count now 1-2 and two as Kaiser finds himself behind. Again, a runner on first for the Crofton Blue Jays. Two outs. Bottom one. The one-two. This is going to be a swing and a miss. Parker hits another strikeout, and that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors. 14 pitches for Parker Pitts, and we head to the top of the second. That's up in 60 seconds on Classic Hits 106.3, KVHTRadio.com, and Live Ticket TV. The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally-sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. Second, Van Hagee throws the first pitch in for a called strike. It's Lane Lucas, the catcher, leading things off for Volga. Ben wastes no time. He barely gives me a time to breathe, and the count is 1-1. One one. No complaints from me there. Of course, Class B action going on today. Right here at Cadwell Park in Class A gets underway later on this evening in Brookings. The games on store for tonight include Baltic taking on Harrisburg at 5.30. Then at 8 o'clock this evening, Rapid City Diamondbacks will take on the host, Brookings. Again, that's the first round of action Then the final six games. Come here to Mitchell, South Dakota, be playing at Drake Field. 
And now the 2-1, it's going to be popped out deep into left field, giving Chase Lathan my bomb, not going to catch up with it. And it's in for a stand-up double for Lane Lucas to lead things off here in the top of the second. A good fly ball that just kept on drifting and kept on going. And again, my bomb not quite able to get there. And now we'll get a courtesy runner in for Lane Lucas, the catcher. Who was that one again? Take a look here. Eric Holtenden will come in and be the courtesy runner. Now on second base. Again, nobody out. Top of the second, one to nothing. I might want to update that in my book as well that Eric is now on there. Here we go. First pitch in for a called strike. And we're underway with Austin Bussey to batter up. So we have Lane Lucas, Austin Bussey, and Josh Nelson all guaranteed at bats. Now a swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh, and since we've already had a leadoff single, or excuse me, a leadoff double, Cole Gross, the right fielder, might get his chance to bat. That's if Ben Hagee can get the next three batters. The 0-2, this one just slightly high. That's in for a called ball. Getting the umps. Clyde Millsleg, the home plate ump. Dave Edler at first, and Jacob Samp is playing third base today. The 1-2, trying to get a chase there, nothing doing. Now the count 2-2. Two and two. And Austin Bussey, in fact, even threw up the hand to make sure that the runner, Eric, wasn't going to go off a second. The 2-2, this one is lined out into left field, and it's going to fall in front of Lathan Maibom. Eric is on his horse, and he will come around. It's another single that brings in a run for Volga, and they now lead it 2 to nothing over the Crofton Blue Jays. Not quite for sure what Lathan Maibom might have seen out in left field as the way he kind of ran over to the ball, I think he thought it was coming closer to him, and all of a sudden it landed about 10 feet in front. And now a laid butt by Josh Nelson. Ben Hagee runs after it, the underhand toss to Corey Roach out at first, and Austin is able to advance over to second. So again, Bowder out at first, count as a sack bunt, and now Cole Gross up to bat. The right-handed batter takes his step inside the box. First pitch, he's gonna line this one out to center, giving chase, and it's gonna fall fair and get in there late and in there to third. Successfully throw over to second is going to be out. Wow. So let's go over everything that just happened there. It fell in for a base hit for Cole Gross. It was Austin Bussey who left late from second trying to make it over to third in time. He was successful, and during that, Cole Gross said, you know what? I'm going to go for second. But unfortunately, it got him in trouble and he's out at second. So now two outs after the single and then pickoff at second, runner on third, two to nothing. It's Volga that leads it over the Crofton Blue Jays. Again, now up is Noah Pitts as he is 0 of 1 of 4 today. Again, returning back to the top of the lineup. Pitts struck out swinging. Back in the top of the first inning, and this first pitch catches the inside corner for a strike. So 0-2, correct myself, is the count with two outs. And the 0-2 pitch, this one well outside at time. Ben Hagee was just hoping maybe to get Noah Pitts to chase after something, but too far to the left. The 1-2, this is going to be hit over to Roach, the first baseman. Simply picks up the roller, runs it out, and that will end the inning. But again, Volga is able to add a little bit of damage. They lead it with two to nothing. Again, one run on three hits, no errors. It took 14 pitches, and we head to the bottom of the second. That comes up in 60 seconds here on Classic Hits 106.3, KVHTradio.com, and Live Ticket TV. 
If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605 224 7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Bottom of the second. As the first pitch comes in with the ball, and here we go. Again, it's Austin Hagee, fifth batter in the lineup. We'll see Hagee. Bailey Sage and Seth Weeblehouse all up in the bottom of the second, guaranteed for the Crofter Blue Chase. The pitcher continues to be Parker Pitts, Legion player for Volga. And a swing and a miss. Count now one and two. And again, you got to watch out for Parker Pitts. He finds the strike zone nicely. In fact, he already has two strikeouts in that first inning. This one. A soft hit ball over the first baseman. Zach Pitts picks it up with his left hand and will run it out to first. Then he'll take, I shouldn't even say run it out. He had to take three steps over there. And it's out number one. And now Bailey Sage will step up to bat. As you see it on live ticket TV, it's kind of hard to see, I guess. But if you're paying attention close enough, Bailey is wearing slightly different jersey color. The way it looks, he's wearing an all-white uniform, but everything is black instead of blue. That's because he is a pickup player from the Freeman Black Sox. Kind of blends in, though, nicely with the Croft and Blue Jays. Count one and one. Oh, my goodness, a crack of a bat. Woof! And that one will fall in as Bailey is going to keep on going. He loses his helmet. It's a stand-up double. A crack of a bat. A loss of a helmet, and he's going to go back and get it now. And it's a stand-up double with one out in the bottom of the second. That's what you like to see from a pickup player. I'd like to know if that bat's okay. It's still in one piece, out, at least when it was picked up. But it sounded like it might have cracked somewhere along the line. I mean, literally. New batter in is Seth Weeblehouse close up to his arm. Looks like it might have nicked the jersey, but nothing doing. Count 1-0. Oh. Again, Seth Weeblehouse, Lathan Maibon, warming up. In for a called strike, 1-1. One, one. Bailey Sage, the runner on second for the Crofton Blue Jays. Freeman Black Sox pickup. Barker pits now, looks back behind his second, winds and deals. And Seth Weeblehouse thought about swinging, decided not to, but thinks now he should have as it's in for a called strike. One, two, one out, bottom of the second. Volga leads it over the Crofton Blue Jays to score two to nothing. Pitts sets and delivers, and this one a swing and a miss. Market strikeout number three. And now Lathan Maibom, eighth man in the lineup, steps up to bat and also playing in left field. Lathan will set up. I mentioned South Central League teams are 1-1 one one so far here in the state tournament. But what about the Eastern Dakota? That is 2-1. Back into action, Lathan Maibom sees the first pitch, hits it over to Noah Pitts, the second baseman. It's the 4-3 putout. That will end the inning. So Bailey Sage got a double with one out. Croft not able to take advantage of it. No runs, one hit, no errors, took just 10 pitches. And the top of the third is coming up in 60 seconds here on Classic Hits 1063, KVHTRadio.com, and Live Ticket TV. 
Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Any. Great to have you along here on Classic Hits 106.3, KVHTRadio.com, where you can listen around the world and watch around the world at Live Ticket TV for this 2021 South Dakota Amateur State Baseball Tournament from Cadwell Park, Mitchell, South Dakota. The count is 1-1 one and one to our batter up right now for Volga here in the top of the third. That is Jake Alt. Again, great to have you along if you're a listener of Volga or just a fan of amateur baseball. A hard hit, 1-1, one, one, and it's going to get past the diving Weeble House in Austin Hagee. Both of them dive to try to stop it. Neither are successful. And Jake Holt will begin with a leadoff single on the hard hit ground ball that squirts out into left field. And now up is Tyson Sonnenberg, who is one of one tonight doubled on a line drive out to center field eventually coming around for the first run of the game for Volga and he sees the first pitch smacks this one hard but it will go foul and eventually hopping over the fence as well to some fans that had to keep their head on a swivel doesn't get much better for the beginning of August two big events of course always going on this time of year the South Dakota Amateur State Baseball Tournament Class A and Class B and of course Sturgis Motorcycle Rally that unofficially, officially gets going today. I know they have some late night festivities out there as things will really start to ramp up this weekend and all into next week as well. Foul ball that hits above us. Broadcast booth in the count now 0-2. Again, two to nothing. Volga leading it over the Croft Blue Jays. Again, Volga coming out of the Eastern Dakota League. They finished their regular season at 11 and three. They were able to grab the number one seed in their district tournament. The 0-2 in for a called strike, and that's out number one. Volga, however, they did not win their district tournament. It was in fact Lake Norton who did who finished their regular season at 6 and 8 and they beat Millbank to do so. Millbank finished at 10 and 4. Now when looking at the program and looking at the numbers for official standings again Crofton it's a little confusing because you look at Crofton they finished third in the regular season standings at 10 and 6 but they got the number 1 seed in the district tournament. And again that's because the two teams that finished above Crofton were the Yankton Tappers and the Yankton Lakers. Again, don't know much about those two teams. They're Class A, so they do not participate in the district tournament. And again, they go play Class A ball instead of Class B, but they play the South Central League during the regular season. The count is 2-1 and one to Zach Pitts, the current batter. And this pitch is inside. The count now 3-1. and one. Zach, by the way, Singled on a fly ball just over the head of James Kaiser back in the first inning. And this one he's going to hit right back to Hagee. Hagee turns around. One out at second. Over to first. It's a twin killing. 
And that will wrap up the top of the third as Volga, for the first time, comes away with no runs, but they still lead it 2 to nothing over Crofton. The bottom of the third comes up in 60 seconds here on Classic Hits 106.3, KVHTRadio.com, and Live Ticket TV. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park. From Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep. And payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in. We're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pierre. This is home. Back here at the bottom of the third, as we get set for action, Crofton Blue Jays up to bat, and it'll be Danny Molina to lead things off. I gotta remember, I'm on live ticket TV. Sometimes I have to come back a little bit sooner and not let the music beds go out so long. Sorry, Jody, that's me. that's on me. Yeah, that's on me. The 0-1, this one, Molina will hit it over the second baseman, Noah Pitts, throw it over to Zach Pitts. And I will not say, because I know somebody back home is asking the question, are these all brothers? I, I do not know. I'm not even going to try to assume. Every time I try to do that, I get myself in trouble. So don't ask me. It's my fault. I didn't ask the question. We return back to the top of the lineup for the Crofton Blue Jays. It'll be Alec Martin, who is now up. Here in the bottom of the third. First time his at-bat, he struck out swinging. Now again, was in the bottom of the first inning. Volga leads it 2-0 over the Crofton Blue Jays. As so far, a combined four runs here at Cadwell Park for the day. How many runs did we have at this time yesterday? Uh, what, at least? Got to be getting what? Menno and Redfield Dairy Queen combined put up 18. And then Plankinton FM Bankers and Clark also put up 18. So 36 in the first two games. So right now we're at four. And I wouldn't say this is going to be a high-scoring affair whatsoever between Volga and Crofton. And if I had to guess, the next game as well between Four Corners and Why Not, we should probably put an over-under on that and put it on a low number as well. The count is 2-1 and one to Alec Martin. The pitch is in for a called strike. Count now full, I'm sorry, 3-2 with one out, bottom of the third. Ryan Deal working for the paper, almost got a fly up here, almost, close, this close, the flies, they are plenty here in the booth. The 3-2, another swing and a miss for Alec Martin and the strikeouts, they just continue for Parker Pitts, market number four for him on the day. Out of his 31 pitches, 22 in the strike zone. As again, has given up two hits, no runs, struck out four. He is a pretty darn good pitcher. A nice Legion player as well. I love it when you can go grab someone like that. And this pitch is in for a called strike. Both teams as well trying to erase history from a year ago at this state tournament where both were eliminated in the first round. Crofton losing to Salem three to nothing, and Volga they lost to Platt six to four. And now the one one is going to be hit right back over to the second baseman Noah Pitts on a two hop, throw to first to Zach, and that will wrap up the third inning. 
as Crofton gets no runs, no hits, no errors. They do it in just 10 pitches, the Volga defense, and we head to the top of the fourth. That's up in 60 here on Classic Hits 106.3 and KVHTradio.com along with Live Ticket TV. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Actegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Actegra agronomist for details or visit Actegra.com today. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Two to nothing. Two runs on six hits, no errors for Crofton Blue Jays. Their line score looking like this. No runs, two hits, and no errors. And the first pitch for the pitcher, Parker Pitts, he's going to get a ground ball right up center, and it's a leadoff single for Volga. And now Lane Lucas will step into bat. Good way for things to get going. Volga in the top of the fourth inning. Again, we'll take a look here in this inning at what's all been happening here at the Class B state tournament in just a moment. Ben Hagee to Lane Lucas. This is going to be popped in the air. James Kaiser goes chase, catches it. They're going to force Parker Pitts back to first. He slides in successfully. So just one out. Parker Pitts, though, took a big lead and was maybe thinking Kaiser might not catch up to the fly ball in time, but then had to quickly scramble back and slide to first again successfully. Just one out. Crofton Blue Jays defense already has a double here in the ball game today. The new batter up is Austin Icy. The first of Icy is close to the jersey, making the count 1 0. Then winds and deals, and this is going to be a line shot out into left. It will fall in front of Lathan and Maibom once again. That's happened several times for Volga. And now runners on first and second with the line shot out into left field. And now steps in Josh Nelson, the left fielder, who has yet to put anything on the books today when it comes to his hitting. He had a sacrifice bunt back in the top of the second. First pitch to him is pop this one in the air. Who's going to get it? It's going to be the right fielder. Nobody will advance. Danny Molina, the right fielder, catches it for, again, out number two. And now Cole Gross, the right fielder, is up once again, where he's singled on a line drive. Runners on first and second. In fact, Volga has yet to put anybody on third base today. Both of their runs have come in from second on singles, just using the speed. And the pitch in for a called strike. And by the way, haven't even got a chance to look at the brackets because just how quickly Ben Hagee is working. Glances back to second once, twice, three times. Now winds and deals. This is going to be foul on the count quickly, 0-2. Millbank opened up the tournament with a win over Platt on Wednesday night, 8-4. And also on Wednesday, it was Dimmick Emery who beat Castlewood Monarchs 4-3. to Again, Castlewood coming from the Eastern Dakota League. And Millbank as well, coming from that Eastern Dakota League. So they went 1-1 one one on the first day. Then yesterday, open up the day, Menno got the win over Redfield Dairy Queen 10-8. And it was Plankinton FM Bankers who made a comeback to beat Clark 
10 to 8 with a walk off home run in the bottom of the 11th. And as I'm talking, a called strike. And that will end the inning. No runs, two hits, two errors, two left aboard. It took just eight pitches for Ben Hagee. And the bottom of the fourth is coming up next here in 60 seconds on Classic Hits 1063 and KVHTRadio.com. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways they can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. tournament go back to Plankton FM Bankers in the second game of the day yesterday made a comeback against Clark after they trailed seven to one in the fourth inning getting a walk off home run in the bottom of the 11th to win 10 to 8 and they advance on to take on it Menno coming up Sunday night at 8 o'clock and it'll be Corey Roach who sees the first pitch of the bottom of the fourth he lines it out to center and it's in for a single and we are underway. How about that? And again, these pitchers, they waste no time. Ben Hagee and Parker Pitts. What are you a fan of? You like this kind of pitching or would you rather see an explosion of offense? We'll revisit that in just a moment as we take a look back at take a look back at the what's happened so far in the state tournament. Also yesterday, Mount Vernon beat Akron. In the final game of the night, it was Flandreau who took down Tabor from the South Central League 9-4. As we mentioned, last year's champions, Alexandria, took on Canova Gang to open up the day here at Cadwell Park to a packed house, and Alexandria got the 2-0 victory over Canova. So the winner of Volga and Crofton will play Alexandria coming up Monday night, the second game of the evening session. And now the 1-1, it's gonna be slapped on over to third base. Jake Alt will run up and get the put out at first, and that's one away here in the bottom of the fourth. And now Austin Hagee is up to bat for the Grofton Blue Jays. And Corey Roach, by the way, advanced over to second base on the ground ball. So a runner on second for Crofton. It's the best they have done. It's only just the second time they have put a runner on second base. The other one was Bailey Sage, where he had a stand-up double. Bailey, of course, the pickup player from the Freeman Black Sox and is currently taking practice swings as he's up next after Austin Hagee. And another called strike in the count quickly against Hagee. He's 0 of 2. Last time up, he grounded out to first. Here we go. Hagee puts the bat down. Now back above his shoulder, the 0-2. He went chasing. A swing and a miss and another strikeout for Parker Pitts. Two away. And now stepping in, Bailey Sage. Mention, what do you like better? Do you like quick games that see great pitching, or are you all about the offense? Myself, I love a good pitcher's duel. It's exactly what we're seeing right now as well. Parker pits to Bailey Sage, in for a called strike. Parker trying to get a little bit of revenge. Can only double of the game belongs to Bailey Sage for the Crofton Blue Jays. The 0-1, and this in for another called strike. So quickly, Parker getting the count in his direction. 0-2, winds and deals, and this one is going to be a soft hit. Ground ball over to Zach Pitts. Parker Pitts covers at first, underhand toss, and it's out at first, and that will wrap up the bottom of the fourth. 
line in the bottom of the fourth. No runs, one hit, no errors. Took just 10 pitches, and we head to the top of the fifth. That's coming up here in 60 seconds on Classic Hits 106.3, KBHTRadio.com, and Live Ticket TV. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com sd. Defense, you know, like good pitching, that's exactly what we have seen. Hopefully, you've taken advantage as well if you're back home. Watch on Live Ticket TV, maybe purchase the session pass. It's best to go, though, with that entire state tournament pass. A line shot on a count 1-0 that will go right over the head of Austin Hagee out into left field. And Noah Pitts, at the top of the lineup, will start off with a leadoff single for Volga. Now Jake Alt will step up. He is one of two today. He's grounded out the first time and then singled his last time up to bat. He digs in the right-handed batter. Ben Hagee glances over to first for just a moment. Will now wind and deal. A bunt is going to be picked up by Alec Martin. Quickly throws it over to first for out number one. And the way Alec was hustling, though, you thought maybe for a moment they were going to try something at second. But again, they go to first to take the easy out one away for the Crofton Blue Jays. But that also can define a team that wins a championship or not. When you take the right outs instead of always trying to maybe force something. Where that's where errors start to come into play. And you go back to a team from the South Central League, the Tabor Bluebird. They had seven errors last night and lost to Flandreau. And they lost 9-4. to four. So uh, not necessarily would they win, but that score looks a whole lot different when you don't commit seven errors. Flandreau just had eight hits out of their nine runs. So that's kind of an example of how much errors can play a factor. We have yet to see a one here in the ball game today. Again, the score is two to nothing. Volga leads it. Total of 12 combined hits between Crofton and Volga. Nine belonging to the team up to bat right now. Count is 0-1 the batter, Tyson Sonenberg. And Sonenberg pops up the 1-1 and still waiting. Finally, it comes down. Woof. That was James Kaiser who waited forever for the 1-1 one -one to come down and puts the leather on the ball. That's out number two. And James Kaiser had to come past second base to get it and called off Austin Hagee to make the catch. Still on second is Noah Pitts for Volga. Again, two away here in the top of the fifth and now enter in Zach Pitts. Zach sees the first pitch into the dirt once again. This might be some of the greatest hustle so far of this tournament that I have seen by a pitcher from Alec Martin. I'm talking the balls aren't even getting away, but he grabs it so quickly, stands up, and is just ready to throw it to wherever he needs to. And now the 1-0 is in for a called strike. Wow. I thought that was even closer to hitting Zach Pitts than a strike. Nonetheless, that's why I'm not the home plate. Ump the count, one and one, two outs. Top of the fifth, Volga leading it two to nothing with a runner on second. Now a foul shot that's gonna go just past the concessions. It's two dollars if the little kids want to chase after it. But I'm not for sure. That one might have even made it outside of Cadwell Park. Or if you want to, 
you can keep the ball as well. You don't have to give them back here. The one, two, this is going to be fouled once again. I guess technically you really never have to give the baseball back. But they would appreciate if you do so. And that's why they pay you for it. Just saves them from buying new baseballs. The one, two, once again. This time the pitch is upstairs, two, two the count. To Zach Pitts, as I mentioned, one of two. He's singled, otherwise grounded to a double play his last time up. Back to Ben Hagee. The 2-2 is going to be, oof, fouled off of his shin. And he is going to step out and start walking this one off. Made good contact and went straight into the dirt and then shot off the bounce into his left foot. And he grimaced immediately. So walks it out. He looks fine, but inside, or at least the leg, it's still going to be throbbing for a little bit longer. Again, bomb the fifth. Round of twos. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Hagee glances the second, winds and deals, and this one, cold strike. That's another strikeout for Ben Hagee, and that will wrap up the top of the fifth with a bow on it. No runs, one hit, no errors, 11 pitches, and the bottom of the fifth comes up in 60 seconds on Classic Hits 1063 KVHT Radio.com and Live Ticket TV. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. You've already saved and got the shop towels last week at Grossenberg Implement. Now this week, save 8% on our classic glass cleaner that cuts through grease, dirt, and film barriers with little effort. The non-streak formula makes short work of all cleaning jobs. Heavy-duty foam clings to vertical surfaces and provides a dirt-resistant barrier. Perfect for cleaning mirrors, glass, chrome, tile around the home, or glass on your vehicles or any equipment with glass in it. See Grossenberg Implement this week and take advantage of the 8% discount on our classic glass cleaner. Grossenberg Implement, servicing your growing needs since 1937. One away. Seth Weeblehouse was the batter. Barely even mentioned him. Goodbye, Seth. We'll see you later on. The next batter up for the Crofton Blue Jays will be Lathan Maibom, the left fielder. A little bit more of a light breeze starting to make its way into the press box as the flags that are on the grandstands behind us aren't whipping in the wind but they are straight up right now with that light breeze. But when you look out to deep center of the American flag, it's sort of moving at the moment. The 0-1 to Latham Maibom, he fouls this one past the grandstands, and the count now is 0-2. Latham, by the way, grounded out to second, his first time up. And again, on the fifth, that's how much of a struggle it has been for the Crofton Blue Jays, just three hits in the ball game so far compared to nine of Volga. The one, two, this is gonna be smacked on. Third baseman, Jake Alt runs up, throws it over to first and two away. The five, three put out. Now, Danny Molina up to bat for the Croft and Blue Jays. And this seems like it's a story that's starting to rewrite itself from a year ago and also repeat the rewritten for the Croft and Blue Jays where they lost to Salem in the first round three to nothing and right now they're trailing two to nothing and in that game a year ago Crofton the story was they just couldn't get the bats going I love the same story this year count is 0-1 after Danny fouls it to the left side the left-handed batter watches the 
one He's going to ground this to Austin Bicey. Bicey easily throws it to first, and that's three up and three down for the Crofton Blue Jays. My goodness. No runs, no hits, no errors. That took seven pitches if you're counting at home. And the top of the sixth comes up in 60 seconds on Classic Hits 106.3, KVHTRadio.com, and Live Ticket TV. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. A couple hat hats come out off of some fans trying to put the ball in their hat. No one makes a good catch. It just falls to the ground. The count begins 1-0. We reset, get a new ball. Everybody gets back their positions. We wait for just a moment, and here we go. The 0-1. Hagee winds and deals. Swing and a miss. Strikeouts, we have seen plenty of them today. Four from Ben Hagee, five for Parker Pitts, by the way. So combined, nine strikeouts. The 0-2, hop foul once again. Everyone will give chase to it, and it'll go beyond the fence line. And the pitch count has been extremely low. Ben Hagee threw five innings, 59 pitches. Parker Pitts threw five innings, 51. Wowzers. I don't know if I've ever seen a combined number that low. The 0-2, fouled once again. And Parker Pitts, not only is he a good pitcher, but also a good batter. When he struck out 19 back on July 27th, he also had went 4-4 in that same game at the plate. And finally, we see a ball from Ben Hagee, and the count is 1-2. Ben was probably trying to get Parker to chase after one there. Hagee fires it in. Swing and a miss and give Ben Hagee his fifth strikeout. No, I'm sorry, it was fouled off the end of the bat, I guess. So never mind. Reset, count remains one and two. Another foul ball for Parker Pitts. One, two, this time it's gonna be shot out into left field, but easily to cover is Lathan Maibach. So after that long battle, Ben Hagee doesn't quite get the strikeout, but more importantly, he gets the out one away. And now up for Volga. It will be the catcher, Lane Lucas. By the way, Parker Pitts and Lane Lucas both wear the jersey number 15. Lane, the catcher, sees this first pitch. He fouls it back behind. Lane is one of two. He flew out to second his last time up, otherwise doubled on a fly ball that went deep to left field last time. And now he's going to take the 0-1. It's a simple little blooper over to James Kaiser and that's now two away and now Austin Bicey is up to bat for Volga where he is successful so far he is single line drives both out to Lathan Maibom so Lathan you might want to scoot up just a little bit because it's going to come in your direction first pitch at the elbows slightly high though they say count 1-0 1-0 
This one finds the strike zone. 1-1 one, one the count. Again, top of the six. Volga, two. Crofton, nothing. 1-1. One, one. This is going to be hit over to the shortstop, Austin Hagee. And it's the 6-3 put out, and that will put the bow on the top of the sixth inning as it's been quick action here at Cadwell Park. No runs, no hits, no errors, 11 pitches. And now Crofton, they're just looking for some offense. We'll see if they find it. Bottom of the six and 60 on Classic Hits 106.3, kbhtradio.com and live ticket TV. The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally-sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. About to find out. Bomber six begins right now with the first pitch that is going to be getting away from Lane Lucas. 1-0 the count. Again, Parker pits 52 pitches through five innings complete out. Martin, the current batter, back to the top of the lineup where he is the victim twice of two strikeouts. Trying to erase his golf play right now. The 1-0. This one's up, count 2-0. and oh. And that might be something Crofton has mentioned in their own dugout. Let's try to make Parker pitch a few more now. Let's not go chasing after everything we see immediately. And quickly the count rises in the favor of Alec Martin 3-0. And you have to think if that theory is gonna test true that Alec won't swing at this next one as Parker is gonna be finding the strike zone. The 3-1, right down Broadway, no swing. No, I do not know baseball that well. 3-1 the count. That was just kind of obvious. Nobody out. Bottom of the six, two to nothing. Volga on top of Crofton. The 3-1, and this one is just outside. Ball number four. It's the first walk given up by Parker Pitts. In fact, someone quote me, that is the first walk we have seen of the ball game. And now we'll have a courtesy runner. The courtesy runner is, is Brady Steffen. Change out those two. So again, now Brady Steffen on first base as the courtesy runner. And now Jared Weeblehouse up to bat. Weeblehouse has not gotten a hit since the bottom of the first. Again, right now we're in the bottom of the sixth. This is his third time up to bat. And the first pitch is outside. Now Parker Pitts. Out of his five pitches here in this bottom of the sixth, four have been for balls, which is, has to seem like almost half his pitches. Right there, another ball, my goodness. Someone go check Parker, is he okay? Out of his 58 pitches, only 18 have been for balls. And now a conversation on the pitching mound. Yeah, again, 58 pitches, 40 out of the 58 in the strike zone, 18 for balls has now walked one here in the top of the sixth. Nobody out, and the Crofton Blue Jays with the hats turned inside out. Have to be waving around, hoping for the rally to start now. Trailing two to nothing. Parker winds and deals and continues to struggle to find the strike zone. 3-0 now the count. 
Are we positive that's Parker Pitts out there? I know it looks like him. But it's not pitching like him all of a sudden. The 3-0 called strike. Again, you expected that. And again, Croft, and this is exactly what they did to Lesterville in the district tournament. They made Lesterville go through the pitches. Get the pitch count high, wear down the pitchers. And now the 3-1, swing and a miss. The count is full, nobody out, runner on first base. However, Parker Pitts is not in trouble yet. Just because he went down 3-0, he's now found two consecutive strikes. Can he turn this around right now in his favor? A couple different ways. You can get even a double here. But just take care of the batter right now. The 3-2, swing and a miss, and he does exactly that, getting Weevilhouse on the strikeout. And now, Corey Roach is up to bat. The Volga fans are saying, told you so, Heath, don't get so excited. He just needs to settle down. We'll see if he did so. Or if he was just facing that he knew he had to find the strike zone. Corey taking his time, will now step in to the right-handed batter's box. Just the pant leg. First pitch to Corey is called for a strike. Well, wow, that looked close to his hands. I thought that was... Definitely how they strike zone. Second time, though, I've seen that kind of pitch, and I've been wrong. So from now on, I'm assuming those are strikes. The 0-1. This is a ball quickly rising to the feet is Lane Lucas to make sure Stefan gets back over to first in time. We have not seen any steal attempts so far. Actually, we've seen one, but not a true steal. As it was a single... Runner took off to second. And was eventually caught trying to make it over to second. Second, that was back in the second inning for Volga. The one, two, this is a swing and a miss. And another batter down for the Crofton Blue Jays. And James Kaiser will now step up the second baseman. Kaiser is unsuccessful today. He struck out and has grounded out to third his last time up. Again, Stefan on first. It was a leadoff walk for the Crofton Blue Jays, but right now not doing anything with it here in the sixth inning. Again, two outs and the first pitch is outside for a ball. And Parker Pitts to throw more, but they're not taking advantage of it. And now a big swing and a big miss. They say it hit off his bat. So count as a foul ball, I guess. 1-1. One, one. Two outs, bottom of the sixth, two to nothing. It's been a great game. Earlier, Alexandra beat Canova, two to nothing. And now we're gonna see a steal attempt, but it's fouled and Stefan is gonna have to go back. Well, the count is one and two. And now Stefan can run at anything. With two outs here in the sixth. Parker Pitts glances over to first for a moment. Now winds and deals, and this is another strikeout. Three strikeouts in this bottom of the sixth, and also giving up a walk, but eventually the final line, no runs, no hits, no errors, took 20 pitches, and we head to the top of the seven. That's coming up here in 60 seconds on Classic Hits 1063, KBHTRadio.com, and Live Ticket TV. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7.
change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Insurance policy right now where they lead it 2 to nothing over the Crofton Blue Jays. And Hagee remains the pitcher. His first pitch is into the dirt for a ball. We'll take a look more at the pitchers and what they have done today. It's been an impressive performance from both Parker Pitts and Ben Hagee. And now the 1-0 is going to be flown out just over the head of second baseman James Kaiser. And that is in for a fly ball single to begin it here in the top of the seventh. So for Ben Hagee through six innings now, has faced 26 batters, throwing 69 pitches, 51 in the strike zone, has given up 10 hits, two runs, both earned, has walked nobody, struck out four, and right now dealing at an even three ERA. And Ben, as he always does, just says, you know what, guys? I can't give any more. I'm going to take myself out. So he does exactly that. And... The new pitcher, I'm not quite for sure, but I can almost guess at who it's going to be. But let me take a look here. The new pitcher, if I had the guess, would have been Tyler Priest. My guess would have been spot on. Priest went 5-2 and two this regular season and pitching, and he's going to try to finish it off for the Crofton Blue Jays. We'll step aside for 60 seconds. But that new pitching change, that's coming up here on Classic Hits 106.3, kvhdradio.com and live ticket TV. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholeauto.com. Menhol Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park. From Denny Holt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got great pitching change. Tyler Priest is now in. And ben Hagee, as always, takes himself out. He'll go until he feels like he can't give anything more. There's nothing wrong with that. And now step in, the new batter, that is Cole Gross. As there's one aboard here in the top of the seventh inning. And a laid down bunt. Weeble House is going to glove it, throw over to second. And on the fielder's choice, out at second. Again, Cole Gross laid down the bunt, but it took a big hop and right into the glove of James Kaiser. So mark that in my book. And now Noah Pitts, the new batter. And with that, it will officially put the end of the night, sorry, afternoon on Ben Hagee. We'll give you his official numbers here in just a moment. Noah Pitts watches the first pitch in for a called strike. So Ben Hagee goes through six innings of pitching, faced 26 batters, again 69 pitches, 51 in the strike zone, gave up 10 hits, two runs, both earned, and struck out four, ends with an even three ERA. And the new pitcher is Tyler Priest. Crofton really only has three pitchers that include Ben Hagee and Tether Priest. And the other one, 1-1, one, one, is going to be grounded over to Austin Hagee. He bobbles it around and never picks it up. Never picks it up and runners safe at first and second, and it will be the first error of the ball game. Cap Benson, by the way, is the other pitcher trying to finish my thought for the three main pitchers for the Crofton Blue Jays. I'm sorry. So again, an error now on Austin Hagee with the ground ball. And runners on first and second for Volga. Stepping in will be Jake Hall. Jake, by the way, sacrificed the catcher on his last at-bat. And the first pitch is upstairs for a ball. Again, Tyler Priest coming in of relief action for 
Ben Hagee here in the top of the seventh. It's two to nothing. Volga on top of the Crofton Blue Jays. With runners on first and second trying to add to their lead. A swing and a miss. 1-1 one, one now the count. Jake steps out of the batter's box for just a moment. Now back in. Left-handed pitcher. Priest looks back behind. Now will throw it in. Fouled. 1-2 the count. That's something Volga is also going to have to adjust to as well. Again, a new left-handed pitcher. Ben Hagee was a right-handed pitcher for the Crofton Blue Jays. You do get used to a pitcher, get used to his tendencies, and now have to adjust to what Tyler Priest has. The 1-2, this is going to be popped in the air. James Kaiser gives chase to it again, but another fly ball that goes just over his head. A run comes around third. It's going to be cut off at the mound, and Volga adds to their lead with another fly ball single. They now lead it over the Crofton Blue Jays, three to nothing. And that has really been something big for Volga, has been fly ball singles just over James Kaiser. Kaiser has given a chase every single time and has not quite been able to get to him. The new batter up is going to be Tyson Sonnenberg. Sonnenberg thought about swinging at the first pitch, decided not to, and now thinking he should have. It's his in for a called strike. Sonnenberg, by the way, one of three today. He popped out to second his last time up, and now a breaky ball that finds the strike zone. And quickly, 0-2, the count. Tyson steps out, gives a big swing of the bat, and now back in the right-handed batter's box. The 0-2 is one up, 1-2. Runners at first and second for Volga. They lead it in the top of the seventh, three to nothing. It's our first run that we've seen since the top of the second inning from Volga. Volga has never got more than one run in an inning. And now it's gonna be popped up to the shortstop for Sonnenberg. Hagee collects two away. And now, Zach Pitts trying to keep the inning alive for Volga. Coming up yet here on Classic Hits 106.3 and KVHTRadio.com, we have game number two of our afternoon and heading into the evening session. We'll pit why not against four corners. So two teams from the state of Nebraska taking on two teams from the state of South Dakota. Again, Crofton from the state of Nebraska just past the border of the state, just past Yankton, South Dakota. A little bit of a, what, 15-minute drive, if that, to get to Crofton heading south and then slightly west. The count is 0-2. And, and this pitch outside to Zach Pitts. Keeping the inning yet alive. 1-2 the count. Again, runners on first and second. Tyler Priest up to 15 pitches in relief action already, and this one is low. Count two and two. Priest sets and delivers, and after being up in the count, 0 oh and two, it's now full with two outs here in the top of the seventh. Trying to wrap this one up with little damage as possible. Volga's already added one. They lead it three to nothing, and now a foul ball as the runners took off. And we'll do this again. Everybody will reset. The runners will head back as well as both of them took off from their respected bases. Might as well. With two outs. The 3-2. Lines and fires. This one's going to be hit right over to the second baseman. James Kaiser, he snags it as he goes down to his knees on the line drive. And that will end the inning. But. Volga gets a run on two hits and an error. And it took 21 pitches. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Again, Volga three, Crofton nothing. Bottom of the seventh comes up in 60 seconds on Classic Hits 106.3, KVHTRadio.com and Live Ticket TV. 
got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep, and payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in, we're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pierre. This is home. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Actegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Actegra agronomist for details or visit Actegra.com today. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. Begin sometime, and now would be a great time. Skin the down for final nine outs. That seems like plenty of action left, but for Crofton, Right now, it's the same story as it was a year ago. Austin Hagee trying to lay down a bunt. This one popped up high in the air, goes into the netting, and the count will begin 0-1. Again, last year, Crofton lost in the first round here of the state tournament, three to nothing against Salem. Again, right now, the score, three to nothing. Hagee tries to lay down the bunt once again. They get Parker Pitts off the mound. Pitts comes up, up off the mound. He's able to snag the ball, throw over to first in time, and it's the 1-3 put out. And now Bailey Sage is up. Bailey a stand-up double, otherwise grounded out to first. Those are his only two plate appearances. The pickup player from the Freeman Black Sox. And the first pitch is high for a ball. Parker Pitts. Just 77 pitches through six and a third. And now finds a ball once again. He's only walked one as well, which has been impressive. His strikeout numbers, as we knew, would be up, and he has gotten plenty of Blue Jays so far today. Back when looking at it, eight strikeouts, and again, he's walked one. The two one swing and a miss. Count two and two now to Bailey. Bailey resets. Winds and fires, and this is foul back into the netting. As you mentioned, more games coming up yet with our night games, including right here on Classic Hits 1063. Why not takes on four corners? And then after that, to wrap up the evening, Del Rapids Mudcats taking on Lake Norton. If you're on live ticket TV, if you bought yourself a day pass or maybe even the full tournament pass, you can watch all those games. The count is full with one out here in the bottom of the seventh to Bailey Sage. The full count pitch, this one fouled off once again. And a throw over to first. And they will get it. They say it was a swing and a miss, but then got away from Lane Lucas. So that's what they officially tally it as, and it's out number two nonetheless. So three to nothing, two outs, bottom of the seventh, and now Seth Weeblehouse digs himself into the mound. He tries to lay down the bunt, it looked like, and the pitch is going to be outside for a ball as he did give chase with the bat to it. Now they're checking down the first base line to make sure that Seth Weeblehouse didn't go. The 1-0 outside once again. As mentioned, why not four corners? Pre-game coverage begins right here on Classic Hits at 5.15. First pitch is set for 5.30. Hopefully you can tune in for that. And then we're back here Saturday morning as Lesterville 
is in action. The 2-1 outside for a ball, and now 3-1 the count to Seth Weevilhouse. Seth has struck out, and he's popped out. And he pops this one high into the air, but keeps on going foul. So full count, three balls, two strikes, two outs. Crofton trailing three to nothing, nobody aboard. Parker fires, and that one's in for a called strike, and that will wrap up the bottom of the seventh. For Crofton, no runs, no hits, no errors, 15 pitches. And the top of the eighth is coming up in 60 seconds here on Classic Hits 106.3 and KVHTRadio.com. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways they can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60 See the first pitch, and he flies it out to Danny Molina for out one. As we're right back into action here in the top of the eighth inning. And now Lane Lucas, the catcher, up to bat. Again, Parker Pitts wasted no time. He said, you know what? I like it. I'm going to chase it. In the end, it didn't work out. Tyler Priest, again, is the new pitcher. He came in relief in the last inning for Ben Hagee as Hagee gave up a hit and then exited himself off. And now help it out with manage the team. The 1-0 in for a call and strike for Lane Lucas, by the way. He's flown out twice to second base, though he's doubled out into left field. And this is where he sends this ball, is out into left field. However, Latham Maibom, the left fielder, able to collect on the debt for out number two. And now Austin Bicey, who is two of three today, he's singled twice over to left field, is in the bat. In fact, before after that, grounded out to shortstop. So it's going somewhere left. It's what he has proven today. And this first pitch is in for a called strike, unless Tuck Priest is able to strike him out or give up a walk. The 0-1, well outside. Again, taking a look at the Class B tournament, Mill Bank opened up with a win over Platt, eight to four, team from the Eastern Dakota League. Also, Dimmerick Emery beat Castlewood, four to three. So Mill Bank and Dimmerick Emery will play each other coming up on Sunday. The first game of the night session at 5.30. Also yesterday, in the first game of the day, Meadow took down Redfield Dairy Queen, 10 to eight. Lincolnton FM Bankers made an 11th inning comeback, or I should say made a comeback throughout, then got an 11th inning walk-off over Clark, 10 to eight. So now Meadow and Plankington will play each other coming up at eight o'clock on Sunday night. Mount Vernon and Flandreau will take on each other coming up Monday at 5.30. After Sunday, no more morning games. It'll be all night games after that until we get to Saturday, August 14th. We'll see a mid-afternoon game. I guess no, 5.30 still night game, you could call it. Sunday, the championship game, otherwise 2 p.m. The 2-2 count, 
This is in for a called strike, and that will end the inning. For Volga, no runs, no hits, no errors, nine pitches, and the bottom of the eighth is coming up in 60 seconds here on Classic Hits 106.3 and KVHTradio.com. Rapid City. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com sd. It's six outs that remain for Crofton, and they need some offense, and they need some offense in a hurry. Lathan Maibom, along with Danny Molina and Alec Martin, are all due up here in the eighth inning. Eight, nine, and one in the lineup. The 1 0 pitch, excuse me, 0 1, swung and missed. And the count quickly 0 and 2 to Lathan Maibom. The 0 2. And it's going to be hit down the first base line, but keeps on rolling foul before it hits the first base bag. And the count remains 0-2. Again, don't forget, coming up at 5-15, why not takes on four corners. And now this pitch in for a called strike. Crofton fans didn't like that call. But another strikeout for Parker Pitts. Pitts now through seven and a third, has faced 26 batters, throwing 90 pitches, 62 in the strike zone, given up three hits, walked one, has struck out 11 of the Crofton Blue Jays. And now Danny Molina, the right fielder, sees his first pitch in for the called strike. His count begins 0-1. The 0-1, this is gonna be hit out into left field, and it's gonna be a fair ball. It is going to be a single for Danny Molina, and that's been a long time that we have seen a base runner because of a hit for the Crofton Blue Jays. We'll see if this isn't maybe the turnaround now. Alec Martin will step up to bat. Alec is 0 of 2 today. We'll see, as we mentioned, is this the turning point for the Crofton Blue Jays, who find themselves trailing three to nothing, and now a pickoff attempt over at first. Danny Molina able to get back in time. Everybody's going to reset. Parker Pitts just taking his time, now looks to first. Sets and fires, and that one is just a little high. And quickly, count 1-0. and 1-0, we await Parker Pitts taking a little bit more time. And now this one dealt in for a called strike. The nightcap tonight will be Del Rapids Mudcats and Lake Norton. Other action, Del Rapids PBR takes on Lesterville coming up at 11 o'clock on Saturday. Lennox only one takes on Larchwood. The second game of the morning session, then the night session on Saturday night, Elk Point and Kimball White Lake set to do battle. Coleman takes on the Redfield Pheasants to wrap up Saturday's action. A count, one and two to Alec Martin. Steps out of the batter's box, takes a deep breath and now back in. The one, two, swing and miss. And another strikeout for Parker Pitts. Now call it number 12. And now Jared Weeblehaus, who is one of three today. In fact, has not gotten a base hit since the bottom of the first inning. 
Missed first pitch is high. Trying to steal a second. A pickoff attempt is going to be not successful. Oh, that one looked close. That one looked extremely close, but Danny Molina is in safe at second base. Let the count 1 0. So Molina adjusting his pants at second. Successful stolen base. It's the first one as well. True first stolen base that we've seen for either team. And now Weevilhouse will see his first pitch in for a ball. 1 0 the count begins, or excuse me, 2 0 the count. It's his second pitch. The 2 0. This is going to be a little bit of a liner out into right field. It's going to roll past now the right fielder. Cole Gross, an error. And Jared Weeblehouse on second. And Danny Molina will come home. Crofton is on the board. They lead it. As soon as they trail, 3-1 to one over Volga. On a line drive single. And then an error on Cole Gross. That gets Weeblehouse on second base. So both teams now have one error. And it's the first run for the Crofton Blue Jays. Is the turnaround, it's the rally at this point right now. And I'm talking about the rally as in the comeback, now the rally that's happening out west. Which I've heard rumors, we'll see if it's true, is set to be the biggest rally ever. We'll see if that actually happens or not. That is just what I've heard. And now the 0-1 is up. It gets away from the catcher, Lane Lucas. And advancing over to third base is Jared Weeblehouse. After the pitch hit off the top of the glove of Lane Lucas. And again, gets away from him. So 1-1 the count. And this pitch just outside. 2-1 now. This is what the Crofton Blue Jays needed. Now they just need Corey Roach to have something happen. He hits a hard hit ground ball. It shoots off the top of the pitcher's mound. Jared Weeblehouse in from third. And it's a hard hit ground ball single for Corey Roach. And Crofton cuts the lead from three, now down to one. And we'll see, is it a pitching change? The ball is handed away from Parker Pitts. It will be a pitching change. What will that be? That's coming up in 90 seconds with the new pitcher here on Classic Hits 106.3, kvhtradio.com and Live Ticket TV. Limestone Canyon's flowing waterfalls and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. You've already saved and got the shop towels last week at Grossenberg Implement. Now this week, save 8% on our classic glass cleaner that cuts through grease, dirt, and film barriers with little effort. The non-streak formula makes short work of all cleaning jobs. Heavy-duty foam clings to vertical surfaces and provides a dirt-resistant barrier. Perfect for cleaning mirrors, glass, chrome, tile around the home, or glass on your vehicles or any equipment with glass in it. See Grossenberg Implement this week and take advantage of the 8% discount on our classic glass cleaner. Grossenberg Implement, servicing your growing needs since 1937. As the rally caps on, and the comeback right now is on. It's not complete, though. The score, three to two, here in the bottom of the eighth inning. With two outs and a new pitcher in for Volga, as Trevor Olsen is the new pitcher. Parker Pitts is gonna go from the pitching mound over to play short. 
and Bicey, the shortstop, is now officially out of the game. Those are your changes for the for Volga. And here we go. Stepping in the bat is the second baseman, James Kaiser, who is 0 of 3. Corey Roach, by the way, on first base. We won't give you Pitts' numbers yet as he's still responsible for Corey Roach, who is currently on first base. But again, we'll give you Trevor Olsen, how he's done here in just a moment. Actually, right now, he is 4-2. and two. He pitched throughout the regular season. The 0-1, it's grounded to Parker Pitts. He will underhand toss it to second on the fielder's choice, and that will end the inning, but not before the Crofton Blue Jays in the bottom of the eighth put runs on the board. Two runs on three hits, one error, 19 pitches, and the top of the ninth is coming up here in 60 seconds where things are about to get real interesting here on Classic Hits 106.3 KBHTradio.com and Live Ticket TV. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next game? It is time for the top of the ninth inning. Volga three, Crofton adds two runs in the bottom of the eighth, and it's three to two. Volga, all they can do right now here at the top of the ninth is add insurance. Right now, Tyler Priest is the pitcher. It's Josh Nelson leading things off. The first pitch is called for a strike, and he fouls off the second one, and the count quickly gets Mr. Nelson and 0 and 2. So, last time, single on a fly ball out to second base just over the head of James Kaiser for Josh Nelson, and he fouls off one again. The count still remains 0 2, nobody out. Priest working quickly now here in the top of the ninth inning. The 0-2, this is going to be another foul ball. It's now three foul balls here this at-bat to Josh Nelson. Well, that's okay for Nelson as he continues to battle. We quickly get a new ball. The 0-2, this one a swing and a miss. It's out number one for Volga, and here comes Cole Gross. Again, Crofton has not put together any offense until the eighth inning, where they were able to get a three hits and an error as well, two runs most importantly, but they still haven't completed the comeback and a swing and a miss. Now for Cole Gross, the current batter, bunted into a fielder's choice the last time he was up, and now a swing and a miss once again. Hello, Mr. Tyler Priest. He's throwing this stuff right now trying to get his team quickly through this inning and get the bats back out there to bring it home. The 0-2 and check swing. Did he go? Did he go? Did he go? He did. It's strikeout number two. Hello, Tyler Priest and the Crofton fans applaud. They have that rally. They feel the momentum has now swung their way. No pun intended. Noah Pitts now the current batter. As we return back to the top of the order, Pitts, this will be his fifth time up to bat. The official tally on him is one of four as last time he reached on an error. Foul ball right back straight into the dirt in front of everybody after a bounce back behind first. And the count begins 0-1. A shout for Noah to try to get on board from the Volga fans. And this one just outside, close to the body. 
for Noah Pitts. 1-1 the count. And that was Alec Martin who held that one framed up for the longest of time trying to get the home plate up. Changed the mind there. Not doing so. Now stepping out is Noah Pitts. Takes a practice swing, steps back in. The count one and one. Two outs, top of the ninth. The one one pitch, this one swing and a miss. One, two. Tyler Priest trying to put him up and down in order. He needs one more strike to do it. And to get the offense and to make the comeback. The one, two, this one into the body once again. And Priest, I think he's just walking around because he won that to be called a strike, did not get it in his favor. He steps back up to the mound. He waits for Alec Martin to adjust the mask. He does. Now we await Noah Pitts. Pitts, the left-handed batter, steps back into the box. The count is two and two. Two outs, top of the ninth. Winds and deals this one upstairs. The count is full. Reset once again. If Pitts is able to get aboard, Jake Alt will step up to bat next. The full count pitch, it's in, it's popped up in the air. It's going to go foul, but three Blue Jays there, and it's dropped. It's dropped by Danny Molina in foul territory. Seth Weeblehouse came from the girl next door corner, and all the way Corey Roach from first base, but Molina, the best option to catch it, not able to make it in. So again, the count remains full, two outs. Top of the ninth again, Volga just trying to add to their one run lead. And right now they feel the momentum has to be against them. As Crofton has it in their favor. The three, two pitch once again, fouled once again, and it was a shot over towards the first base dugout. Teller Priest in relief action has gone through two and two thirds, now throwing 42 pitches. The full count pitch again. It's in and it's gonna be called strike number three as Noah Pitch just throws the bat in frustration. Crofton, it's time to complete the comeback. The question is, can they do so? The 60 second break and we'll find out if they can do so here on Classic Hits 106.3 KVHTRadio.com and Live Ticket TV. Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholeAuto.com. Menhol Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park. From Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally-sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. Two runs, they trail three to two here in the bottom of the ninth. The count quickly begins with one and one to Austin Hagee, again, Trevor Olson, the new relief pitcher. In fact, he's just approaching pitch number five of relief action. He's throwing more warm-up pitches than he has actual game pitches. Fouled off for Austin Hagee in the count now one and two. Nobody out, Bailey Sage. Taking the practice swings to pick up player from the Freeman Black Sox. The one, two, it's gonna be cracked out into the right side, but just kept on going to that right way. Foul. Count will remain one and two. Hagee, by the way, is 0 of three. He's grounded out twice and struck out swinging. The one, two pitch. 
Trevor Olsen winds and delivers. It's going to be grounded back to Olsen. Collects, throws to first. One away. One away for Volga. They need two more to try to stop the momentum of the Crofton Blue Jays. And now Bailey Sage will step up to bat. Bailey doubled back in the top of the second inning. And it was a momentum there for Crofton, but they were not able to take advantage of it. After that, he's grounded and struck out. Bailey sees the first pitch, cracks this one out to deep center, but it's not going to be far enough. Tyson Sonnenberg there to collect, and that's two away. A good job from Bailey Sage, but again, just not far enough. And now the Crofton Blue Jays are down to their final out. Seth Wiebelhouse trying to keep the comeback alive. He struck out twice and he's popped out once. Trevor Olsen, the left-handed pitcher, trying to get action done in relief. First pitch in for a called strike. Can Volga keep their season alive or is it going to be Crofton that plays spoils? A score, three to two, two outs, 0-1 the count. Seth Weevilhouse hits it, it's a ground ball to shortstop. Parker Priest grabs it, throws it over, and that will be it. Volga gets the win over the Crofton Blue Jays with late drama, but in the end, Volga is able to hang on as Trevor Olsen able to put the Blue Jays down in order, one, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors, takes just eight pitches. And again, Volga is on to the second round to take on last year's champs, defending champs, I should say, the Alexandria Angels coming up Monday night in the late evening game as Crofton, they finish their season. He once again here in the first round at Cadwell Park uh, last two seasons here at Cadwell Park being eliminated in the first round and only putting up a combined two runs. We're going to pause for two minutes. We say goodbye to Live Ticket TV. We'll join back up with them later for the Why Not and Four Corners game. But again, coming up, post-game coverage on Classic Hits 106.3 and KVHTradio.com in two minutes.